Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now just this morning, Jagex has released all the drop rates for the new Perilous Moons as well as the Colosseum, giving us a lot of insight into what we can get. So today I'm focusing on Perilous Moons and at its most basic idea, if you kill all three of the moons and then you go loot the lunar chest, you have a 1 in 14 chance at getting a unique. So that's pretty simple. So congratulations, you can now rightfully complain if you're going dry. However, it's a little bit weird because there's three different bosses and three different armor sets. And luck can be a little fickle. You can see here that even though I've gotten a lot of pieces, I'm still missing two of these Eclipse sets. I already have completed the other two sets. And in addition to the drop rates, they've also explained how the drop works. Most importantly, that every single boss gives you a chance only at getting its piece. Every time you kill one of the bosses, you have a 1 in 56 chance of getting a piece from its armor set. However, if you complete all three and you do kind of the full lap, you'll also get an additional roll. However, that 1 in 56 can be from all three of their drop tables. So with that knowledge, we can re-spark one of the most infamous discourse. Is it worth it to kill all six Barrows brothers, but make it Varlamore edition? This time, we're trying to find out. Should we be killing all three of the moons if we're trying to specifically target one set? So again, in my case, let's say I just want to get these Eclipse sets. So what I can do is instead of doing a full run, I can instead just go and kill the Eclipse guy and I'll have a 1 in 56 chance of getting one of their pieces. Sure, I miss out on the bonus roll for having completed all three, um, but the trade-off is that the runs are obviously a lot faster because I'm only killing one of the moons. In addition, every single unique item also has something of a dupe prevention, meaning that you can't get duplicates of a specific armor set until you've already completed that armor set. So I can't get any of the two Eclipse pieces that I've already gotten. However, I can get duplicates of the Blood Moon pieces and the Blue Moon pieces that I would be rolling for every time I kill that boss. So this makes the idea of just killing one of them far more appealing because I'm only gonna be rolling for those two items that I'm missing. And in theory, I should be getting faster rates. I will get into the numbers in just a bit, but for now, let me just go ahead and demonstrate what this looks like. I've just finished killing the Eclipse Moon boss, and I'm going to get ported out to the Blood or the Blue Moon boss, which is kind of where the next you know phase of the lap would be. Instead, I'm just going to simply run over to the chest again. In this case, I like to use um, this one because it takes me right over back to the Eclipse guy. Individual runs can vary a little bit depending on which specific moon you're target farming. So you know, just figure out what path you kind of like to go on. The run energy helps here a lot because you are spending a little bit more time running. So just uh, getting the cup of tea really does help here. And you can see right here, I only have the Eclipse moon defeated. I've skipped the blue and the blood moon, and I'm just going to go ahead and loot the chest. My room Rewards are a lot worse. You are going to be significantly cutting your rolls at, um, you know, getting sort of like the secondary items, things like the darts, the U seeds, the super compost, the water orbs, all that stuff. But I am going to be able to target farm the specific items that I want. And after going ahead and checking the chest, uh, I'm right back here. I'm basically ready to go right back into the Eclipse guy and start another run. This is really useful for something like the Eclipse guy because it's so much faster compared to the other two. And you're getting a lot of damage because you're able to hit them. Uh, during the mimic phase. Okay, but I know what you're wondering. Aren't you still giving up the bonus roll for completing all three of them? Isn't it still worth to do them all to get that bonus roll? And don't worry, I do have the numbers for you. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little bit of math. So if you don't care about the math, you just want to hear my opinion, I can boil it all down into one simple statement. If a target farm run is faster than 75% of the time you would spend on a full run, do target farm runs. So in this case, target farm run is just doing whatever specific bosses you want, either one or two of them, and a full run would be completing all three of them. Let's say a full run takes you eight minutes, 75% of that would be six minutes. So if you can do a target farm run, such as killing the Eclipse guy, less than six minutes, you should do the target farm run. And again, this is only if you care about specifically going for uniques for like your collection log, or you want those specific pieces to use as like an Iron Man, you are going to be hurting your chances at getting the secondary items quite a bit. Okay, let's get into the math. Now we know from the blog that every time you kill one boss, you have a one in 56 chance at getting one of their pieces. They all have four pieces for their armor set and then the weapon. And again, there's also a dupe prevention system, meaning that you can't get duplicates of the set until you've completed the whole set, meaning that we're not really going for four items. We're trying to just hit that one in 56 four times. Once we've gotten four pieces, we have a full set complete because we can't get any dupes. This means that if we just killed one guy, we just spammed the Blood Moon boss and went to the chest, we would have to kill it 224 times. That would be the average rate to get a full set. 56 times four, 224. And again, we're working in averages here. 
you might go dry, you might get lucky. This is just average. Now, if we killed all three of them, we're getting one in 56, but it's three different rolls. It's not like we're three times as likely to get a blood moon piece because it's one in 56 out of blood, one in 56 out of blue, one in 56 out of an eclipse. In addition, we're also getting the bonus roll, which is another one in 56 chance. However, that one in 56 chance is for the entire pool of items, meaning that if you've already completed a set, such as you know the blue moon set, you will be able to receive a blue moon piece as well. Now, I don't know exactly how this bonus roll is calculated, if it just boosts your chance at specific items or if it's just a separate roll. Mainly, I just haven't seen anybody get like a four chest before. It is possible to get a three chest, but I just I haven't seen a four chest yet. But I'm just going to assume the most basic version of this, and that's that you have a one third chance of hitting every single boss. So now let's take the example where we killed the blood moon boss, but we've also went ahead and killed the other two bosses. How much better is our loot because of the bonus roll? Well, we're still gonna get that one in 56 chance. However, we're also getting a one in 56 times one third. This is because that one in 56 bonus roll, only one third of the time is actually gonna benefit our blood moon drop table. If we do the math here, this is one in 56 plus a one in 168, that's 56 times three. One in 56 is the same as three over 168. So we can add this together and have a four in 168 chance, assuming we've killed all three of them. And this simplifies to one in 42. Basically, if you kill all three of them, you have a one in 42 chance of getting the blood moon piece. And the same is true for all of them. You would have a one in 42 chance of hitting the blood, one in 42 chance of hitting the blue, one in 42 chance of hitting the yellow. These are independent of each other. You can hit all three of them. With this in mind, considering we have four pieces, and again, we cannot get dupes, one in 42 would come out to 868 for an average rate. 42 times four, 168. If we compare it to before, so on the left, this is gonna be the one in 42, assuming we had killed the other one. And on the right, we have one in 56 chance, assuming we just killed the blood guy, right? We are not touching the other ones. You can see that the rate is 168 compared to 224. This means that doing a solo run, only killing one boss and then doing a target farm boss is gonna give you 75% chance compared to a full run. You're getting 75% of the chance of loot. However, your run is also a lot faster. That's kind of the trade-off. And it's why I'm using that 75% number at the very beginning. If you can do a solo run in 75% of the time it takes to do a full run or faster, then it's worth it to go ahead and do target farm runs for that specific uh, item that you're looking for. What happens if we're missing two sets? Is it still worth it to do full runs? Well, it actually turns out that it's exactly the same. In this case, our chance is doubled. We have a one in 42 at the blue guy and a one in 42 at the blood guy, which means we have a one in 21 chance of hitting an item per run. Again, this is assuming you want both sets, so getting either item is totally fine. And these rolls are independent of each other. You're not disqualifying your chance at a blood item just because you're getting a blue item. And on the right, if we skip the eclipse guy, we're gonna get two in 56 because one in 56 doubled and that comes out to a one in 28 rate coincidentally the rate is exactly the same because it's going to be 21 times 8 to get 168 and 28 times 8 to get 224. you might think okay well what if i'm missing like two of this item and one of that item it doesn't matter the multiplier is still going to be the exact same either way it's 75 percent chance compared to a full run when you're doing target farm runs meaning that if you are just farming two of them and you could still complete it in 75 percent of the time it requires you to do the whole cycle, it's still gonna be a bit more optimal to do the target farm runs. I use this example specifically because the Eclipse guy is usually the fastest and the blood guy is usually the slowest. So it might just be the case that like, you might as well kill the Eclipse guy because you're right there anyways. Again, you're gonna have to time it for yourself, but here's just kind of the number, the metric to be looking at. So that's again, my original statement. If a target farm run takes faster than 75% of a full run, do the target farm run. Your chance of loot is worse, but you're going to get a lot more completions done. That's also why you might have noticed that I have like 250 lunar chests completed right now because I did like 50 of them today and every Eclipse one took me like two to two and a half minutes, very fast, in and out, looting the chest back into the boss, which is a lot faster than the seven and a half to eight minutes it was taking me for a full run. Now, if it's super close, you might want to just go ahead and do the full run. Maybe you want to get dupes so you can trade them on the Grand Exchange. Maybe you actually care to get the secondary drops as well. You can see here that one boss gives you one roll at the secondary drop table, two bosses give you three rolls, and three bosses give you six rolls. So you're getting basically one in sixth of the loot if you're only doing one boss. So yeah, if you're trying to stock up on water orbs, or maybe you're uh, running low on darts, just do all three of them. It's definitely going to be the fastest way of getting loot. Hope this video helped. 
I always love being able to target farm uniques and really get those specific items that you're still hunting for. Together with the dupe prevention system, this really makes it so much better for filling out your collection log or hunting for those last pieces um, in case you need them for a specific piece of content. I know I really want to get that Eclipse set so I can start doing like Tombs of a Masket with it or Demonic Gorillas. And I'd much rather just, you know, smash the Eclipse boss for a couple hours rather than doing the entire run. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be doing full runs? Are you going to be doing target runs? And good luck to all the collection logs. Hopefully this is going to speed things up quite a bit. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.